What's up guys, it's Friday, October 24th, 2014. Uh, this is the day before I go in for my medical and my uh, and my communication specialist test for the New York State Police. So uh, today, every, a lot of things were in my mind, but I needed to go work out. So today was a back day. So this is me at, uh, I believe at two plates and a quarter on each side and this is just me doing the hammer rows and I did about five by myself and then I asked uh, my spotter to actually give me some resistance as I'm pulling backwards so just light resistance so that I can feel I can get uh, a pump in my biceps and also a pump in my back and uh, that's just how uh, I used to train back long time ago so I did the same for my pastor I believe he's doing this at a plate and a quarter on each side, which is pretty heavy for a beginner uh, like him. He just started working out uh, this week, and uh, for him to be rowing, what is this, 45 and a quarter, so that's 70 pounds, uh, that is pretty heavy for uh, a beginner, so good props to him. And I'm also giving him some light resistance. He's really struggling when I'm giving uh, resistance. And oops, upskirt right up my pants. Uh, but anyways, I'm just giving him some light resistance so that he can get some pump into his biceps and his back. And I think I only gave him two assisted, uh, two resistance uh, back pulls. Afterwards, I wanted to do the cable lat downs, uh, lat pull downs. But uh, both of them were being used, so I had to use the machine, but it's the same process. I think the grip on this is a little bit better because it is angled, uh, but the, uh, the cable one, it's just something that I've always been training on. Uh, so I did about two or three sets on these. Um, not too much. I think if you can see the video clearly, this is at around 115. Uh, pounds and here's my pastor going and he did it around 100 pounds which is again considerably heavy for a beginning uh, person f into fitness so good props to him for actually pulling them down with uh, no motion jerk no body jerking and just straight up pulling this down towards his uh, towards his ear so very good form on him, No, n nothing that I can't uh, really say anything about. Um, I've discussed this with my pastor, so this is his first week, so I told him around three weeks into it, his body's going to hurt. But once he hits the three week point, he should be doing fine. Uh, his body will get less sore because his body is now acclim acclimated to uh, all these physical activity and all that. So you just need time and everybody's got to start from somewhere. Even if you're uh, curling five pounds, you got to start from somewhere. You can't just out of nowhere curl a hundred pounds or else you'll, you'll hurt yourself seriously. And even me, right after my uh, hospitalization, um, after my car accident, no Ebola over here, I, I couldn't bench the bar, so, uh, but after a year in, now I'm at um, benching 225 now. So anyways, my point is you gotta, you gotta start from somewhere. So afterwards, we went on to do the cable straight arm pull down, just to uh, stretch out the lats a little bit, also stretch out the uh, shoulder the muscles on the shoulder uh, just uh, did about three sets of these light and easy nothing too heavy nothing too hard uh, again I'm showing my pastor how to do the correct form so uh, what you typically have to do is uh, be somewhat near the machine but in a way that uh, there's some resistance when you're uh, holding on to the bar and then as you pull down, you try to use as straight of an arm as possible without bending your elbows. Otherwise, you'll activate your triceps into it and it'll be just a tricep pull down. Uh, you just have to use this uh, straight arm method and just, uh, just really stretch out that back. So as he was doing it, I was feeling his lats and 
making sure that it was being stretched in and out uh, as the exercise required. So this really isn't to build up your lats to a heavy point, but uh, just to stretch them out after a serious uh, lat pull down and a uh, hammer row session. And afterwards, we went on to the, the face pulls. Now, typically, I like to have the the cable, the the vertex, I guess, the pulley uh, towards the uh, towards the upper portion of the machine. But uh, I like I saw this on Barbell Shrugs, and he told me. Uh, I think the announcer he showed me a new method of doing. Um, face pulls so you do you see the you see me doing the regular face pulls right here and then what I do is I lift my fist up towards uh, above my shoulders to get that rotator cuff uh, to be building in and if you can see in the mirrors there's these guys doing the traditional face pulls and that's what I want that's what I usually do but I also wanted to get my rotator cuff to start working in so the external uh, rotator cuff is being worked out here uh, at, when you're lifting the fist above you, your um, above your elbows so my pastor is doing it in one smooth motion rather than me who is doing it in two motions pulling it back and then lifting the fist up violently but uh, it's another alternative method of doing face pulls and it feels you can really feel it on your shoulders when you uh, when you get into your first set so it was a really good workout for this so I might incorporate this motion more into my face pulling exercises afterwards we just went on to do some biceps that our backs were already aching and uh, us doing legs the few uh, I believe two days prior uh, our lower back was already gone so I believe we went on to do 21s about three sets of them and uh, just trying to keep as good of a form as possible. Sometimes you'll see me move around because uh, I'm dropping the weight too heavy and I have to support myself. So I'm doing, uh, I believe this is 30 pounds uh, on, the, um, on the easy curl bar. Now I try to do 40 pounds, but by this point of the stage, uh, my biceps were aching. And my whole body, my whole back was just burnt. So I couldn't do heavy. Which is kind of uh, kind of disappointing because I usually do 40 pounds. But uh, again, this I haven't been at the gym for about two weeks. So my body my body's probably just deteriorated a little bit. So my strength uh, has gone down just a little bit. Not too much. But uh, just a little bit over the two, three weeks that I've been out. Anyways, here's my pastor doing the 21s. Uh, he was familiar with the exercise, and uh, you'll see him kind of painfully doing them as he's doing it. So, this is his first week, so I'm giving him props for actually being able to complete 21s in one motion, uh, one, one smooth action. Afterwards, we went on to finish up with uh, incline barbell uh, dumbbell curls. So in this one, I'm just really trying to isolate my arms, uh, not trying to put any uh, lower back or leg uh, momentum in this. So all you have to do is stay still and pump it up. And you'll see me pumping it up with 20 pounds. Uh, nothing to be ashamed of here. Uh, by this point, like I said again, uh, my biceps are burnt, so all I could do was 20 pounds. Uh, so I think I went up, uh, I just stayed at around 20 pounds, and I did about three sets of these around the 12 rep range, uh, 8 to 12 rep range, and just trying to really uh, burn out my biceps as much as I can. So afterwards, we went on to uh, basically do nothing. For the day, I had to uh, calm myself down so that when I went in tomorrow, I have to be prepared. Anyways, later.